I'm always awkward in these. My apologies. My apologies. Um, this is for future me in 10 years when I'm 29 and contemplating everything. <laughs> hey, it's me from the past, I guess, technically. Wow. I hope things are good and I hope you're okay mentally and physically, you know, um, did they figure everything out with, you know, these guys down here? <laughs> Can you walk? How are your elbows? <laughs> Pretty sore. Um, I hope you're taking care of yourself. And if you can't, then I hope you have someone taking care of you. Listen, this talk's gonna get personal, but I mean, we already know everything. <laughs> um, and I can't promise that I won't cry talking about it. Um, yeah, but I'm proud of us. I, I really am, you know, growing up in the household that we were raised in, we kind of had to grow up before everyone else. We got to see sides of adults that children shouldn't see. But we're okay. We turned out good. We're not like them. We're our own person, and that's amazing. You know, they say when you have a wound and you keep picking at it, it won't heal. It'll turn into a scar. But if you leave it alone and let it heal, it'll be almost impossible to find the exact spot you are hurt. And after 14 years of picking at the same wound, I've learned to let it go. And now it's a scar, but it's okay because scars make up who you are and they can be very beautiful at times. You're okay, even if it feels like you're not. You are. You are. You've survived a lot. Honestly, there are like three or four times in your life where you probably should not have survived, but you did. That's incredible. And you're Life is unfair, but when it counts, you're extremely lucky. I just hope that you're getting everything you wanted. I hope you got to experience the world a little bit, and did you move in with friends, get like roommates? When you were traveling, did you meet interesting people and do you keep in contact with them? That would be so cool. <laughs> um, did you keep dyeing your hair? I'm excited to see what you end up doing with yourself because you have potential. You really do. You just have to find where it's at and grow on it and just shine, you know? And practice makes perfect. Just because you're not good at something today doesn't mean that in 10 years, you'll still be bad at something. Practice makes perfect, it, it really does. So practice and 
grow from it. <laughs> but, in all seriousness, everyone keeps saying that there's this light that we have. And honestly, I struggle to see it, but just because just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. It just means... I don't know what it means. But I'm sure it means something. And I'm sure by now you've probably figured it out. And now tell me. How were your 20s? Did they shine? Were you on top of the world like you wanted? Did you get to walk? That's a big question, because, you know, my teenage years weren't as, they weren't what I thought they were going to be at all, but they were okay, you know, they were my years, and I did a lot of growing since I started this journey, and it, my teenage years are about to end, so it's kind of sad, but... It, I'm excited. I'm excited for the adventure that I'm about to go on. Um, you kicked life's ass. You really did. You, you did. You know, you were given dirt and you made a full garden. <laughs> maybe not a full garden, maybe like three quarters of a garden, but hey, you've got time to keep it growing, you know? You get lemons and you make lemonade, you know? You always see the best in people, even when they don't deserve it. And you always give people second chances, even when they don't deserve it. Heck, you give people, like, more than two chances. You've given people ten chances, and you still don't give up on them, even though you probably should. You should really look into that. But, um... Even though you don't talk to the people that you used to talk to, I know that if one of them came knocking on your door and needed help, you would help them. Even if they did you dirty. Even if they screwed you over royally, you would still help them. Because that's just who we are. Even if we hate, <laughs> we hate it sometimes, and trust me, we do we do it's just who we are and we would still do it just because it's the right thing to do and forgive and forget you know and you don't forgive people for them you forgive them for you because growing up you've had to forgive a lot of people and if you didn't forgive those people you would not be the same you that you are today the same you that everyone just loves you know and even though you don't feel it necessarily, you know it's there. You know at least at one point everyone loved you. And that's, that's something to hold on to. Just as like a good reminder that like, you have it. I'm trying not to cry, so I'm, I'm sorry if I'm being, like, awkward, but that's just who we are. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm okay, shockingly. And I thought having no one return my messages and having no one to talk to, I thought I would be more broken, but I'm okay. And knowing that, like, three years ago, if I was going through this, I would not be okay just shows how much I've grown in three years. And just rewatching this in ten years, I bet it's crazy seeing how much we've changed because I'm sure we're definitely not the same person anymore. And if we are the same person, then, like, wow. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Um, but you got this. You really do. You have a spark. A light. 
you make the best out of a bad situation, which not everyone can do. And even though you have your moments where you just break down and lose control, you always get a grip on everything again. And even when you're in the wrong, you always make up for it. Yep, that's what I like about you. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess, you know what? I want to do this, okay? I really want to do this. So we're going to do like a little self-check. We're going to see if things are the same or different from me right here, right now, to 10 years in the future. So I'm going to have to wait 10 years to get the results, but hopefully it's worth it. Okay, favorite color? Dark reddish black, you know? Um... Single or taken? Single. <laughs> happiness? Meh. 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 My happiness. It, it's a roller coaster right now, but right now, while filming it, 8 out of 10. <laughs> Did that person ever get back to you? Cause, Cause I wanna know. How many people from your past do you stay in touch with? Do you, are you even still friends with people from, from now, I guess? How many friends do you have? I think there was he, was he. Okay, we'll see where that goes. I don't know. I don't really know how to do those things. So I did my best. I did my best. Also, how's the YouTube channel? I think last time I checked, we were at 75, which is a lot. Thank you. So, yeah. Okay. You. You did good. Keep at it. Don't let go. Hold on, at least for another 10 years so I can react to this video and see how much has changed.